Welcome to Emmanuel's Blog TV. Please subscribe, turn on post notification, and like our videos. Why is Oscar winner Leonardo DiCaprio getting slammed online? Leonardo DiCaprio, Hollywood heartthrob, Oscar winner, environmental crusader, and as it turns out, a magnet for controversy. Despite his undeniable talent and charisma, Leo's career hasn't been without its fair share of bumps, stumbles, and moments that left eyebrows raised and fingers wagging. Buckle up, popcorn in hand, as we navigate the choppy waters of Leo's most buzzworthy controversies. King of the world, box office at least. Remember that time Leo snagged the coveted Best Actor Oscar for The Revenant? And the Oscar goes to Leonardo DiCaprio. Finally breaking his long-standing Academy Award curse. Well, some folks weren't exactly thrilled. Critics pointed out that. Other actors, like Tom Hardy in the same film, delivered equally powerful performances but were overlooked. Others questioned the narrative of a white man conquering nature, calling it outdated and anthropocentric. Green Crusader, Private Jet Polluter Leo's fervent advocacy for environmental protection has earned him respect and admiration. However, critics point out the dissonance between his fiery speeches and his jet-setting lifestyle, with accusations of hypocrisy flying faster than his. Private plane. It's a complex issue, highlighting the challenges of reconciling individual actions with systemic problems, but it's a conversation that needs to be had. The Wolf of Wall Street's Ethical Conundrum. Martin Scorsese's dark exploration of financial excess, The Wolf of Wall Street, was a critical and commercial success. However, the film's glorification of Jordan Belfort's hedonistic lifestyle, complete with rampant drug use and misogyny, left a bad taste in the mouths of some viewers. While acknowledging the film's artistic merit, some questioned the message it sent, especially to young audiences. From Titanic heartthrob to meme machine. Ah, Titanic, the film that launched a thousand ships and a million teenage crushes. But Leo's iconic I'm the King of the World pose has transcended the movie, morphing into an endless source of memes and parody. While some find it hilarious, others view it as disrespecting the film's tragic storyline and trivializing a moment of cinematic drama. The 25 and Over Club Let's address the elephant in the room, or should we say, the model on the yacht. Leo's dating history has become the stuff of internet folklore, with an uncanny pattern of girlfriends who seem to magically age out of his life around the ripe old age of 25. While some chalk it up to personal preference, others see it as a problematic fixation on youthfulness, raising questions about power dynamics and ageism in Hollywood. After his latest breakup with 27-year-old actress model Camila Marone this summer, the internet exploded, accusing 47-year-old Leo of shallowness and sexist ageism against women. Over 25, let's break down this swirling backlash storm against the once untouchable Oscar-winning star. Examining Leo's controversial dating history. Leo has almost exclusively dated and romanced Victoria's secret and sports illustrated type models like Giselle Bündchen, Bar Raffaele, Nina Agdal, Kelly Rohrbach, and more. His current girlfriend, Eden Polani, is, you guessed it, also an age 24 model actress. While dating younger woman isn't itself controversial, Leo's absolute cutoff preference at age 25 has people crying foul. 
Critics point to the obvious double standard that wealthy, powerful men can easily score 20-something trophy girlfriends but don't get judged for it. Yet women dating younger men inevitably get labelled cougars in a clearly sexist way. Leo's breakup announcement goes viral. When Leo and Camila broke up this summer shortly after Camila turned 25, Jabs exploded on Twitter mocking Leo for so rigidly following his under-25 preference. Leonardo DiCaprio is actually dating all 25-year-olds on a timeshare agreement, one viral tweet snarked. Even high-profile celebs like Keegan-Michael Key joined the Leo roast, photoshopping. Himself as the nervous next girlfriend worrying about turning 26 soon. An Instagram graph also went viral, visually showing Leo consistently replacing girlfriends once they pass 25. Ouch. Poor Leo can't catch a break. Why Leo gets judged more harshly than other stars? Now, to be fair, Leo certainly isn't alone among older male celebs dating younger women. Stars like Adam Levine, Richard Gere and Alec Baldwin have done the same without as much criticism. But Leo's consistent pattern exclusively dating 20-somethings and breaking up with all girlfriends by 25 does come across particularly shallow. Critics argue he views younger women more as trophies or status symbols rather than valuing their maturity or agency in relationships. While Leo keeps his private life tightly guarded, his optics do unfortunately feed into the cliché of rich, powerful men feeling entitled to barely legal model girlfriends without getting called out for objectification or sexism. Is the backlash against Leo overblown? In Leo's defense, both parties clearly consent in his age gap relationships, even if the dynamics seem problematic. Other notorious womanizers like John Mayer actually do target very young teens, which feels far creepier. Perhaps we're being too harsh judging Leo's personal preferences here. Yet his ultra-specific under-25 dating requirement certainly plants instinctual ick factor reactions for many fans. Remember, the internet is a vast and ever-changing landscape. So this blog post is just a snapshot of the current discourse surrounding Leonardo DiCaprio. New controversies may emerge, old ones may be re-examined, and the tides of public opinion will continue to shift. Stay informed, stay curious, and most importantly, stay entertained.